It's my great pleasure to be here today, and I can only echo uh, that I'm also very happy to see so many of you and so many people and representatives of different organizations and countries. Allow me first to extend a warm thanks to our host, Minister Grubischer, to welcome us in this beautiful city. And I do hope participants who haven't been here will have the occasion also to explore that. And of course to uh, as RESPA Director Radka Sekulovic and all her staff for organizing this regional event. This is the first time this is happening in Bosnia-Herzegovina and we're very pleased to see that this ministerial conference is taking place. As you know, it's, it's no secret to you that uh, the EU has a strong belief in regional cooperation as it contributes to a sustained long-term response to, to all the challenges or many of the challenges in the Western Balkans. Following the Commission's Western Balkans strategy released in February this year and also Commission President Juncker's visit in the whole region, the summit in Sofia on the 17th of May reaffirmed the European perspective for the whole region. Now the summit has contributed to further strengthening the links between the EU and the Western Balkans in infrastructure, digital human connectivity, and working more closely together tackling common challenges, security, migration, geopolitical de developments, and also good neighborly relations. And good neighborly relations are also founded on meetings like this, as you create links, as you strengthen networks, etc. Strong governance, good governance, and effective public administration is the topic for the uh, following two days. And both of them are key in tackling all these regional priorities and addressing also your reform priorities throughout your respective European integration path. So at every step, this will be a key ingredient to making it happen. There's also a strong link between economic development, growth, and quality and governance. Ladies and gentlemen, in the 2018 enlargement package adopted in April this year, the Commission made an assessment where the Western Balkan partners stand now with their public administration reform efforts. Maybe it's useful also to set a little bit the tone for the discussion to um, highlight a few main findings. First, and on the positive side, all governments in the region, with sadly the exception of Bosnia-Herzegovina, have adopted public administration reform and public financial management reform strategies. And implementation is already ongoing, has been ongoing for some time. We hope, of course, that Bosnia-Herzegovina will join the club soon, because we do need a strategic vision for all the countries to move forward and translate that into action, both in terms of policies but also financing. Secondly, the Commission noted that quality of, uh, the quality of strategic and sector policy planning, and this is the key focus of the conference here, still needs to be approved across the region, not least in terms of aligning policy and financial planning. Third, legislation, public policies, and major investments are still too often prepared without sufficient socioeconomic and financial impact assessments and interministerial but also public consultations. And this can result in conflicting laws and policies, bottlenecks during implementation and continuous amendments of legislation. And this does not help predictability for citizens and also the business environment. Fourth, the Commission underlined that the polit politicization of the civil service remains an issue of concern. Now there, strong political will is needed to effectively ensure the principle in merit of merit in recruitments, dismissal, but also developing a career development path for civil servants. Fifth, the Commission underlined the importance of accountability of administration. Citizens' right to good administration, access to information, and administrative justice have to be consistently ensured. In this context, of course, you will need a strong and performing public administration as you implement the acquis, as you move closer towards EU accession, but you will also need a strong public administration to deliver services, services citizens pay for by their taxes. So the service delivery is also a crucial element. Finally, the Commission noted the strong emphasis across the region on improving the service delivery to citizens and to businesses, as was just said. Now there, just by, our, by way of example, the introduction of e-government services remains a priority and is also a key factor for transparency, speed, and also consistency in delivering those public uh, services. Now, to summarize 
the Commission's finding, and I hope you will go into more detail during your two days here, in the enlargement package we can say that the Western Balkans is clearly right on track, but, and it's not an insignificant but, uh, a lot of challenges is still ahead, lie still ahead. It's clear that our fundamentals first approach will only deliver the desired results if countries are seriously committed to a comprehensive, ambitious, and a credible agenda of domestic reforms. And this will require continuous political commitment, strong inter-institutional inter coordination, and also increased transparency and engagement of external stakeholders. And this will all be needed to keep you right on track. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm also very pleased to see represented today and uh, tomorrow representatives of the key center of government institutions in this region, ministries of public administration where they exist, prime minister's offices, ministries of finance, and institutions in charge of European integration across the region. As was just said, we also rely on you and the coordination with one another and also the fruitful exchange across borders to make the EU enlargement happen and ensure that Western Balkan government's policies are going to deliver what they promise. Now, to intensify this work you're doing on public governments, demonstrate the strong commitment among the Western Balkan countries to the European values and principles. With that in mind, I look forward to a constructive two days. I look forward to a good discussion and wish you good luck and uh, all the best for the next two days. Thank you very much.